If you're replacing your belt, make sure you're working on a cool engine. Also, if you're going to be reinstalling the old belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation before removing. On BMW E39 models equipped with a six-cylinder engine, they utilize a two multi-ribbed engine drive belts. The small outer belt drives the AC compressor, and the larger inner belt drives the alternator, coolant pump, and power steering pump. With your engine cold and turned off, inspect your drive belts for wear. The belts, yellow and red arrows, should be free from cracks, fraying, glazing, and missing chunks. Replace your belt if any of the previous mentioned issues are present or every four years. Working at the top of the radiator, remove the expansion rivets from the intake air duct, yellow arrows. To remove the rivets, you can use a small flathead screwdriver and pry them up. Then, using needle nose pliers, pull the rivet out. The expansion portion of the rivet will now come out of the duct. Depending on model, year, vehicle may have three or four expansion rivets. Next, remove the intake air duct from the radiator support by lifting it up and out of the intake air duct housing. It is not necessary to remove the radiator cooling fan shroud from the vehicle. Removing it will allow easier access to the drive belts, and if you would like to do that, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. Again, before removing your drive belts, mark the direction of rotation if you're reusing the belts, and note the installation position. There are two styles of tensioner, hydraulic and spring-loaded. Each has a unique way of releasing tension. For the hydraulic style tensioners, remove the dust cap from the tensioner pulley. Once the dust cap is removed, you have access to the 8mm Allen bolt used to rotate the tensioner. Spring-loaded tensioners use a 16mm hex boss to rotate and release the tension. Locate the AC drive belt tensioner, use a 16mm hex boss, or remove the dust cap to access the Allen bolt. Using a ratchet with a long handle and an 8mm socket or a 16mm open end wrench, depending on style of tensioner, rotate the AC belt tensioner clockwise to release tension and slide the belt off the pulleys. Locate the accessory drive belt tensioner and remove the dust cap if necessary. Using a ratchet with a long handle, red arrow, and the appropriate socket, rotate the drive belt tensioner clockwise to release tension and slide the belt off the pulleys. With the belts removed, inspect the pulleys for lateral play or binding. The idler pulley commonly fails. If this occurs, the coolant pump will lose the drive belt and the engine will overheat. Now is a good time to replace the idler pulley to prevent future problems. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. To install the accessory drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then over and around the power steering pulley, around the alternator and coolant pump, and around the tensioner pulley. Avoid running the belt under the idler pulley for now. Once the belt is properly installed on all accessories, Release the tensioner as described earlier and slide the belt onto the idler pulley. Tension the belt and check that it is properly aligned and installed in all pulley grooves correctly. Be careful not to force the belt onto pulleys, damage may occur. To install the AC drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then the AC pulley. Next, bring the loop of the belt towards the tensioner as described earlier and slide the belt onto the tensioner pulley. Release the tensioner and check that the belt is properly aligned and installed in all pulley grooves correctly. Be careful not to force the belt onto pulleys, damage may occur. Reinstall the dust caps on the tensioner pulley and install the air intake. Start the engine and run for less than 30 seconds. Shut the engine off and recheck the belt installation. For E39 models equipped with an 8 cylinder engine, it utilizes two multi rib drive belts as well. The smaller inner belt drives the AC compressor and the larger outer belt drives the alternator, coolant pump, power steering pump. Use this diagram as a reference when removing and installing your drive belts. With the engine cold and turned off, inspect your drive belts for wear. The belt should be free from cracks, fraying, glazing, and missing chunks. 
replace your belts if any of the previous mentioned issues are present or every four years. The alternator accessory drive belt can be replaced from the top. The AC belt is best replaced from below. To release tension on the alternator accessory drive belt, loosen the two 13mm tension fasteners, yellow arrows. The belt tensioner should be released once these are loose. To check that the tensioner is fully released, you can rotate the tensioner clockwise using a 17mm hex red arrow on the tensioner. With the tension released, you can now remove the belt. Start by sliding it off the tensioner pulley, then remove it from the alternator. Then the power steering pump, unhook it from the idler pulley and remove it from the crankshaft pulley, then finally the water pump. Now that you remove the accessory drive belt, you can remove the AC belt. You're going to need to jack up and support the front of the vehicle along with remove the engine splash shield. Please follow the links provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. Start by loosening the 10mm fastener at the tensioner bracket, green arrow. Then loosen the 13mm fastener at the tensioner, yellow arrow. The belt tensioner should release once these are loose. To check that the tensioner is fully released, you can rotate the tensioner clockwise using a 17mm hex, red arrow, on the tensioner. The belt can then be removed from the tensioner pulley, the AC compressor, and the crankshaft pulley. Once the old belt is removed, install the new AC belt first, then use a 17mm wrench and rotate the tensioner clockwise, then tighten the 10mm fastener to lock it in place, then tighten the 13mm tensioner fastener. With the AC belt installed in tension, you can install the accessory belt. Start by sliding it on the crankshaft pulley, then wrap it around the water pump, then from the right side of the engine, pull a loop of belt between the water pump and crankshaft pulleys and place it on the idler pulley. See the belt diagram. Place the belt around the power steering pulley, then the alternator, and finally the tensioner pulley. Then tension the belt by rotating the 17mm hex, green arrow, clockwise to the stop. Then tighten the 13mm locking fastener, yellow arrow. Once tight, tighten the other 13mm fasteners at the 17mm hex. Check the belts are properly aligned and installed in all the pulley grooves correctly. Start the engine and allow it to run for less than 30 seconds. Shut the engine off and recheck the belt installation. Reinstall the splash shield and lower the vehicle to the ground. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.